Hi everyone, today I'm going to share a whole week's worth of lunch ideas with you, four packed lunches to take to school or work, and even though I work from home these days and I eat my lunch at home, there was a time where I went to school and worked away from home where I always brought lunch boxes because number one, it saved me lots of money, and number two, I always knew what went into the box, I could make sure it tastes good and that it's nutritious. And before we get into the five recipes, I want to thank Mon Bento for sponsoring this video. And in the video, I'll be using two of their boxes. The first one is their original Mon Bento Bento box. And the second one is the Mon Bento Element box, which is an insulated box, which keeps your food cold or hot for up to five hours. And the original Mon Bento Bento box I'm using is in the color brick and it has two compartments with these nifty lids. And it also comes with a snack pot to keep your snacks separate from your food. And in the video I'll also use these temple sauce pots which come separately but they are really handy, come in two sizes and fit nicely into the boxes as well. And to close the box, I just use the lid, which has a seal to make it airtight, so nothing will leak. And then you just stack the two boxes or compartments on top of each other. And I'm using these travel cutlery that come separately as well, but fits really nicely into the box. And then you just place the lid on top and pull a strap over it to keep everything together tightly. And that's the original box. And the element box is super easy to use. It has this screw cap lid that you just screw off and then back on again when you filled it with all your yummy food. And it also has a handle which makes it super easy and portable. And until the end of July, you can receive 10% off your purchase on the Mon Bento web shop if you use the code GOODEATINGS10. So now that you know all about these fabulous boxes, we can do some cooking. So let's go! The first recipe we're going to make is a summer potato salad, which I think is super for lunch boxes. And since it's summer, I'm going to use asparagus, which is one of my favorite vegetables. And I just start by snapping the ends off and then I'm just cutting it into three pieces. And this I'm gonna roast on a pan with a little bit of oil, salt and pepper until it's nice and roasted. So here I'm just using olive oil, but you could use any oil you prefer. And then I'm just adding a little bit of sea salt and some cracked black pepper. And then I'm just gonna mix them together really well to make sure they're all coated with the oil and the spices. And then I'm gonna pop them in the oven to roast. While the asparagus is roasting, I'm gonna start by making the dressing. So I have mustard and red wine vinegar, some olive oil and water, as well as some salt and black pepper in a little glass that I'm just gonna mix up to make a mustard vinaigrette. And this is a super easy dressing, but really delicious with potato salad. And if you haven't had it before, you must try. Then when I've made my dressing, I'm gonna start assembling my salad into one of the compartments of the box. So I'm spreading out the lettuce at the bottom and then I'm gonna add some potatoes on top. I use some boiled new potatoes here, but you could use roasted potatoes and any kind of potato you like. Then I'm also adding in some cooked beluga lentils, but again, you could use any lentil you prefer, preferably one though that holds its shape. Then I'm adding in some radish wedges, as well as some raw chopped red onion. If you don't like onion, leave it out. And then when my asparagus is finished roasting, I'm placing that onto the salad as well. And then into the small sauce pot, I am pouring in the dressing. That's the salad done. And in the other compartment, I'm gonna make a little snack box. And I'm starting by placing some trail mix into the snack pot and placing it back into the compartment. Then into my big sauce pot, I'm adding some peanut butter and I'm adding some cherries into the bigger compartment. And I'm also adding in some sliced apple to dip into that peanut butter. And that's the first lunch done. What I really like about these boxes is that you can have many different foods in little compartments and they still stay separate. 
In the next lunchbox we're gonna make a Tex-Mex rainbow salad and to start I'm gonna peel and chop a sweet potato which I'm gonna roast up and add to a lot of different raw vegetables and black beans as well. So I just start by chopping the sweet potato into little cubes and you just make them the size you want and then you place them onto a baking tray I like to line mine with this reusable liner and then I'm drizzling on some oil to the potatoes. I'm adding some salt and also some black pepper. As you can see, I always like to season with salt and black pepper. And then I'm adding some smoked paprika powder as well, which adds a really lovely flavor. Then I'm mixing it all up again to coat all the vegetables and I'm gonna roast it in the oven until it's soft but also a little bit crispy on the edges. While that's roasting, we're gonna make a mango salsa for the snack pot. So I've got mango in the bowl and adding some raw red onion as well as some chopped up coriander. If you don't like coriander, leave it out, but I think it's better with. <laughs> I'm also adding in some chili flakes and some salt of course and then I'm squeezing in some lime juice which adds a nice zest. Finally I'm just mixing it all up to make it well combined and then I'm gonna just set it aside while I make the lunch salad. So I'm starting by adding some black beans into the one compartment of the box and then I'm adding some chopped up bell pepper. I used yellow but you can use any color you like. I'm also adding in some cucumber as well as my roasted sweet potatoes and I'm adding in some chopped up red cabbage which I've also massaged with some salt and lime juice. Then I'm adding some chopped up tomatoes and in goes some sweet corn as well. I thought mine from frozen, but you could use fresh or canned or whatever you like. Then I'm also adding in some cooked quinoa to get in some grains into the bowl and I'm squeezing in a little lime wedge as well to squeeze on later when I'm gonna eat it. So into the snack pot of the other compartment, I'm adding the mango salsa and then I'm cutting open an avocado and placing half of it into the compartment with some chili flakes on top. You could also have some salt on it if you'd like. And then into the big sauce pot I'm placing some salsa which I'm then putting into the big compartment as well along with some nachos, just some corn chips. And this is the Tex-Mex lunch box done! I love this box, it's quite decadent but also perfect for summer with all the fresh flavors. Next up I'm gonna use the element box and make a red curry noodle soup. This is super easy and I'm starting by adding a can of coconut milk into a saucepan and along with the coconut milk I'm pouring in some water as well. Then I'm adding in some red curry paste that I've bought from the store. It's super easy to use and very flavorsome. And I'm just bringing this to a simmer on my hob and adding in some vegetable stock powder. Then I'm just stirring it to make sure the paste is all incorporated. And then I'm adding in some vegetables. I have mushrooms, broccoli and bell pepper, but you could really use any vegetable you like. And then I'm just gonna cook it in the broth for about five minutes or so until it's soft. Then I'm preparing my element box by removing the lid and adding in some cooked noodles. I'm using Korean sweet potato noodles, but you could use any kind of noodle you like. Rice noodles would be perfect in this. And then I'm just pouring in my soup. And as always, if you want to know the exact measurements of all these recipes, you can find a link in the description box where you can find all those details. Then on top of my soup, I'm gonna sprinkle some coriander as well. And I'm also gonna add some of these cut up sugar snaps for a nice fresh crunch. And I'm also gonna sprinkle on some chopped up spring onion, but all of these garnishes are optional, including these red pepper flakes. And that's the soup done. This recipe is super easy, super yummy, and very convenient when you need to whip up your lunch fast. 
This fourth lunchbox is one of my favorites in the summer because it's summer rolls with peanut sauce and to start I'm gonna make the sauce so I'm combining peanut butter with some soy sauce and some garlic granules then I'm just squeezing in some lime juice as well before I give it all a good mix to combine all the ingredients and if you find the sauce gets a little bit thick you can add a little bit of water and then to make the summer rolls, I am dipping these rice papers into water. It's good to use lukewarm water to make them softer faster. And then I'm placing that paper onto a cutting board and I'm sprinkling some sesame seeds on top. Toasted sesame seeds are tastier, just a little reminder. And then I'm placing on a lettuce leaf. Onto that I'm gonna place some sticks of cucumber, carrot, bell pepper, spring onion and some tofu. But you could use any vegetables you like here. And I'm also adding in some of that shredded cabbage which I've massaged with lime juice and salt. And in this recipe as well I'm adding coriander but you don't have to if you don't want to. I think summer is a fabulous season because you can have herbs on everything but yeah that's totally up to you. Then I'm rolling the summer roll up just like that and as you can see it sticks a little bit when you're placing it straight onto the wooden board. So in a second I'm going to show you how to make that easier for you. So if you place a damp dishcloth onto your surface and then the rice paper onto that, it's not going to stick as much because everything is moist and won't stick to, to each other. And then you just cut the summer roll in half and place it into your bento box. And for my sauce I'm using that big sauce pot again and just placing the sauce into it and what's nice is that they have lids so it won't spill anywhere and into my snack pot of the other compartment I'm gonna add some sliced strawberries and then into the bigger compartment I'm gonna add in some edamame beans and I've just steamed these edamame beans from frozen to make sure they're edible I love these as a snack especially with some flaky sea salt sprinkled over the top. So this is my fourth super fresh and summery bento lunchbox idea. To finish off the lunch week I'm gonna make a romesco pesto salad and for this I'm using my food processor and I'm adding in some roasted red bell peppers that I bought in a jar and then I'm also adding in some raw onion and garlic as well as some toasted almond flakes and to that I'm adding in some tomato paste and get the last bit in there as well and then I'm adding in some smoked paprika powder again into that I'm adding in some chili flakes as well and some salt and some black pepper of course. Then a really nice ingredient that goes into this is some fresh parsley so I'm just adding that into the food processor again and then I'm gonna pulse this until it's a grainy mixture and you might need to scrape down the sides and then pulse it a little bit again. And then I'm adding in some red wine vinegar, you could also use sherry vinegar, and I'm gonna add in some water as well as some olive oil to this mixture as well. So I'm measuring it out and then I'm putting the food processor on auto and just drizzling the liquids in so that it mixes in really well. When the sauce is done, I'm bringing out a bowl of my cooked pasta. So you can use any pasta you like. I'm using a quinoa and corn, gluten-free pasta, and I'm spooning in the sauce as well as adding some green peas that I've thawed from frozen. But soon we'll have fresh ones, which is super nice. Then I'm just mixing it together well and placing it in one of the compartments of my Monbento Bento box. To finish off and garnish my box I'm just sprinkling on some more fresh parsley and then I'm bringing out my snack pot which I'm adding in some olives to and in the bigger compartment I'm gonna make a really nice summery tomato salad 
and tomato salad is my favorite in the summer and I'm adding on some chopped spring onion as well as some fresh basil and then into the small sauce pot I'm pouring in some balsamic vinegar to drizzle over the salad when I'm ready to eat it and again I just love that you can have these little sauces separate so that the food doesn't go soggy while you're traveling to work and waiting to eat your lunch and that's the final recipe for this video full of lunchbox ideas with mon bento bento boxes i really hope you enjoyed this video and many thanks to mon bento for sponsoring the video as always you find the recipes linked in the description and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care everyone